an AI app that every video editor must know about. Now the name of it is Runway ML. You can get started with it for free. It has a free trial. It can actually replace objects inside the video. So you don't like a bug in this object, in this video, you can make it into a flower. It can remove a background. So even if you don't have a green screen, you can remove the background of your video. And third, I'll show you its video generative feature. So for example, in this case, we have here a dog and from this dog, we're gonna create a lion. And the lion will have the same movements and the same uh, features, similar features to the original footage. Okay, so if you already like this video, click the like button because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate each step and we will use our own footage We'll check out all the quirks, we, we'll check out all the features, everything that works, everything that doesn't work, and uh, let's get going. So, first step is to go to runway.ml, I'll have a link in the description, and all you got to do is sign up, and you click on sign up for free, and then you can log in. So I'm going to log into my app, now I'm going to click on edit videos right here, so just click on in painting, drag and drop some videos. Now I have added already some assets here. I've uploaded a couple of videos. Now, as you see in this video, we have a woman that's walking, the camera is moving around and we have here some type of a construction. And let's say you don't want to have this construction in your video and you don't want this house. Now let me show you how you can magically delete it. When you go to in painting, you can already start selecting the area that you want removed and it will make it blue. Magically, it will disappear. So now let's preview this video. And as you see, there is no house absolutely no house. <laughs> the object was removed and even though there's camera movement and as you can see there are no artifacts. This, this looks very clean. Okay, now let me show you the next feature and I'm gonna go back to uh, edit videos and I'm gonna go to remove background. I'm gonna select remove background. Let's use something that's a bit more challenging. I would say this video, but the idea is that I don't have a very clear background. I have here a bit of white and then in the background I have some uh, images, some plants and so on. So it would be really difficult to key out this background. But with this tool, all you got to do is now select a couple of points on the image that you want to keep. So I'm going to click a couple of points here and it already makes me green. <laughs> and now we can just preview the entire selection. Let's preview what it has done. I think this looks exceptionally good. Okay, I'm gonna click on done masking. Now, okay, I would say this is already a good result. Of course, it could be better, but given the fact that I had a lot of stuff in the background and I had um, not the best lighting, I think this is a good result. You're gonna get better results if you have a clear background like this and you don't have that much going on. I think we as video makers, video editors must know about this tool. Okay, now let me show you something really interesting. How can we change an entire image, an entire video and make a different video from the video? I'm gonna go back to the, back to projects. I'm going to go to generate videos, generate video to video, so gen one. Okay, so generate videos, gen video to video. And now here I can upload a video. So I'm going to use a shorter video. And I also highly recommend that when you play around in this, just use shorter videos because the longer your videos, the more credits it will eat up. And it would be better to just experiment with shorter videos. You're gonna get your videos done faster. And uh, once you already know how things work, then you can 
play with your longer video. So let's take a look at this video. This is a two second video uh, where I'm <laughs> in a shop and I'm moving my motorcycle helmet. Cool. So here we have a couple of style references because with its AI, we can change this video into different kind of things. And one of the things that it has a couple of presets, uh, we have all kinds of presets here. You can change into a pet cartoon. Let's, let's take a look at this pet cartoon, how this looks. Here you have the previews of the style and so on. And like, this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm now a cartoon. But what I want to do more is to make my own style. So uh, I'm going to write in here a prompt. So I will say uh, captain. So I'm going to be the captain of a ship. And uh, here we have a couple of things that we can change. So we have, we can click on advanced. And we have here style structural consistency. Cool. So let's make it more consistent. Next, style weight. How much the style of a captain of a ship will affect this image? So we can make it not that strong. So it kind of is going to resemble my original image. Uh, the seed, we don't have anything to do with it right now frame consistency we make it very consistent i want it to have the same movements that i have in this video foreground only effect background only compare wipe so let's click on effect foreground only because i only want me to be changed the rest could be unchanged and compare wipe we're going to add this so we have a comparison. Now, before I click on generate video, I'm going to click on preview styles. And then it's going to give me four different styles. And it, it will already show me how my video will look. Let's, let's make some changes here. Style weight is lower. And let's make a new set of styles here. Once I find something that is good here, then I can just generate the video exactly in that style. So, so let's take a look at the results. So this was the original image. This is, so this is the original video. And let's take a look at the result. The captain is doing the same motions, the same movement that I'm doing, but uh, he smiles more, right? Should smile more, right? Take a look, boom. Like the same camera angles, the same movement. But uh, the difference is that right here I am a captain. I think that is really, really awesome. Now let's take a look at the second example. Well, the second example is uh, not so good, but this one. I think is awesome. Now with these AI apps, you do need to experiment a little bit until you get the right result. But if you really want to make videos and videos that look good and you want to create consistency in your workflow and you want to get the right apps and tools, then I recommend that you try out the AI Creators Club, where I show you exactly how you can make videos, how you can make movies just like this one, whether you want to be with your face, where you want to be on camera, or if you'd prefer to not be on camera and create faceless videos where a different face or a different character is on camera, then I'll show you that also. Okay, so check out the AI Creators Club from bluefx.net and I'll see you in the next video in a couple of seconds.